Does looking at your PPC reports make your head spin? Or anytime you try to make sense of all of those numbers like ACOS, CTR, CPC, and conversion rates make you go cross-eyed? Well, what if I told you that there's a new powerful tool that will analyze and break down all of that cryptic data into an easy to understand report that's immediately actionable to improve your PPC results? Would you get excited? What if I told you that tool is actually free with no strings attached? Well, my name is Crescent, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a new tool called Benchmarker from Celix, the sponsor of today's video. We all know that the key to selling on Amazon is to have successful and profitable PPC campaigns. But the problem is analyzing those PPC reports alone doesn't easily give you an actionable plan on what you can do to fix and optimize your campaigns. If you've looked at your PPC reports, you know what I mean. It's difficult to identify where the problem areas are, especially if you're a beginner. And in my opinion, it's because those reports don't provide a basis of comparison to know whether or not your campaigns are doing well. And the fact that most beginners don't understand what the metrics like ACOS, CTR, or conversion rate mean, the role they play, and how they affect each other in order to put together an educated plan of action. Well, the Benchmarker tool does just that. It's called Benchmarker because it compares your PPC data with your competitor's data and helps you identify the problem areas so you can take actionable steps to optimize your campaigns. In fact, it uses real data, not estimates. And as of the making of this video, Benchmarker is actually still in beta, but it's available to the public right now. And I'm gonna show you how you can get access to it today for free. So let's dive right in. But first, you know what I'm gonna say. If you find value in this video, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out and I'd appreciate it. So thank you. All right, so let's take a look at this demo account on Benchmarker. The first thing I wanna show you is the ad formats summary. How Benchmarker works is that it takes your actual PPC data and compares it to your competitor's data and breaks it down into an easy to understand report for you to analyze. And I wanna emphasize that the data it uses is real data, it's not estimates. And it's not comparing your data with just an average of all the sellers on Amazon. It's actually comparing it to your real competitors that are in your niche. In fact, right down to the subcategory, and I'll go into more detail on that later. But as you can see here in the ad spend distribution, 20% of the PPC campaigns are sponsored brand campaigns and 80% are sponsored product campaigns. These are the two main types of campaigns most sellers use, and you probably recognize these if you've created a PPC campaign already, as you can see here. So how does that compare to other sellers? You can see that the category benchmark is 12% sponsored brands and 88% sponsored products. So how an overall picture like this can come in handy is if, for example, you see that there's a very low percentage of sellers utilizing these sponsored brand ads, then you can take advantage of that by focusing more of your ads on sponsored brand ads. Since the ad cost will most likely be much lower due to less competition, and you'll have a higher chance of getting the best ad spots. You know, the ones at the top of the search results that say sponsored. Now, if we take a look at the sponsored product section, this gives you an overall picture of how well your campaigns are performing. You can see that it's broken down into four main metrics called KPI, the key performance indicators. We can see the ACOS or ACOS, conversion rate, cost per click, and the click through rate. But the problem is, how do we know if these numbers are good or not, if they need improvement or not? What most people will do is they'll just compare their numbers with what the averages are on Amazon. For example, the average click through rate on Amazon is 0.4%. If that was the target you were aiming for, then you would be shooting way too low. What would be more helpful is if we knew what the average is of our direct competitors. And we can actually see that with the Benchmarker tool. The benchmark is actually 0.65%. And in this case, we're outperforming the average by more than double. However, it's not quite that simple. If we click on the plus sign here, we can see the click-through rate broken down by our individual products. And quickly, we can see that this puff and fluff Dog dryer is the one that's doing extremely well at 1.1%, whereas the benchmark is 0.5% in the shower and bath accessories category. That means that in the shower and bath accessories category, 
the average click-through rate of all of our competitors is actually 0.5%, not the overall average on Amazon, which is 0.4%. How powerful is that? And the graph on the right that you see here is what 60% of all of your competitors are doing. So 60% of all the competitors have a click-through rate between 0.3 and 0.8%. If you're outside of that range, then you're in the lower or upper 20%. Like in this case, at 1.1%, we're in the top 20%. And with this product, we're below the range at 0.2%. So we're in the lower 20%. Okay, so we can see that all of these other products are underperforming compared to their category benchmarks. And again, these benchmarks aren't estimates, they're actual real data from your competitors. And what makes it even more relevant is that the benchmark data is from your exact subcategory, not just an overall average from the top level category like pet supplies. That's how powerful this tool is. We can instantly see what areas need improvement using real data. The same can be said for the average cost per click. We can see the average cost per click in June of 2021 is $1.20. But again, that's not accurate for the category we're selling in. The benchmarker tool shows us the actual average cost per click is 87 cents, a huge difference. If we click on the plus, we can see that we're way overpaying compared to the benchmark averages. For example, we can see that we're paying $1.10 for this product. However, in the shower and bath accessories category, the benchmark is actually 30 cents. And in this case, in the carrier and travel products category, we're paying 44 cents, but the benchmark is 30 cents. So moving on, if we take a look at the ACOS, you can see that the ACOS here is 25.26% across all of the sponsored product campaigns. The ACOS is the portion of your total sales revenue that you spent on advertising. For example, if you sold $1,000 worth of products and you spent $100 on advertising, then the ACOS would be 10%. $100 is 10% of $1,000. Make sense? The power of the benchmarker tool is that it compares your performance against other sellers in your niche, and you can see that the benchmark ACoS for this category is 24%. So in this case, our ACoS is higher than the average. And I'll actually go over how you can improve these numbers later on in the video. But for now, if you wanna see more detail, you can click on the plus button here. Now you can see a breakdown of your ACoS by the individual products you're selling. So for example, in this case, again, the puff and fluff dog dryer has a very high ACoS at 26.8%. And you can see that the category it's in, the shower and bath accessories, has an average ACoS of 20.1%. You can also see that the ACoS falls in the middle of the range here. And with ACoS, the lower, the better. In fact, if your ACoS is less than or equal to your profit margin, then that means your campaign is profitable. If your ACoS is higher than your profit margin, then that means you're spending more money on ads than you're actually making in sales. So if we take a look at this Lumilux toilet light, it's in the carriers and travel products category, and the ACoS is at 10.7%, whereas the benchmark is 20.4 in that category. That's actually really good compared to the competitors, but keep in mind, if your profit margin is less than 10.7%, then with each sale, you're still losing money. So it's not as simple as just comparing it to the benchmark. Now, if we click on the advanced view here, we can see what the actual ad spend, sales, and total orders are. So just for an example, if we take the $20,000 ad spend and divide it by $186,924 in sales, you can see that it's 10.69%, which is how we get the ACoS figure that you see here. Does that make sense? Now, the same thing goes for all the other KPI metrics. The conversion rate is 10%, whereas the benchmark is 5.5%. That's really good in this case, it's almost double the average. With the conversion rate, higher is better. And with the cost per click, we went over this earlier, it's not that good. We're overpaying almost double. With cost per click, lower is better. And with the click-through rate, we also went over this earlier, Higher is better with the click-through rate, so this is performing really good compared to the other sellers. And as a quick reference, you can see the results reflected here in the grade column. In this case, the conversion rate and click-through rate are excellent with five stars, while the ACoS and cost per click need optimizing. Okay, can you see how powerful this tool is in helping you diagnose where the problem areas are? 
Just looking at the PPC reports alone won't give you this kind of granular data, all right? And if you have sponsored brands campaigns, you can take a look at them here in the sponsored brands tab. Okay, now let's take a look at the product analysis section. Here you can see a similar breakdown, but it's by individual products. This is where you can see exactly how each of your products is performing compared to your competitors and take actionable steps to optimize the campaigns. For example, if we take a look at the puff and fluff dog dryer again, we can see the ACoS, conversion rate, click-through rate, and the cost per click here. It also shows the ad spend, sales revenue, and the total number of orders. You can also see that each data point is color-coded. Green means the product is outperforming the benchmark, the top 40%, and red means there's room for improvement, the bottom 40%, and orange means that the product's performance is about average. Now, if we take a look at the ACoS here, you can see that it's highlighted in red, and if we hover the mouse over it, we get this graph. You can see that the average in this category is 20.05%, but we're at the bottom 40% of sellers at 26.75%. Remember for ACoS, lower is better, so there's a lot of room for improvement here. We can see that the conversion rate is green at 8.88%, which means it's outperforming the average. Same with the click-through rate. It's also green at 1.1%. However, the cost per click is in the red at $1.10. And in this case, it falls outside of the range of the bar graph. You can see that the range of the graph is from 15 cents to 44 cents. And that represents the middle 60% of all the sellers. So as you can see, the current $1.10 cost per click is way outside of that range and therefore has a lot of room to improve. Okay, so by simply looking at this table, can you see how quickly and easily you can identify where your problem areas are with your PPC campaigns? In this case, with the dog dryer, we need to lower the ACoS and the cost per click. And with the toilet light, we need to improve the click-through rate and lower the cost per click and so on. So as you can see, armed with this data, you can now put together a plan to fix these problems. For example, we can see that the cost per click is way over the benchmark for all of the products. The only way to improve this is by lowering the bids. And while that's the long-term goal, when you're launching a new product and looking to get the best ad placement to generate sales, you can expect the cost per click to be high since you're overbidding in order to win those top ad spots. To improve the click-through rate, generally boils down to a few key areas. A poor click-through rate means Amazon is putting your ad in front of people, but they're not clicking on it. So to fix this, you need to look at improving areas such as the main image, the title, price, adding a promotion or a coupon, and keyword relevancy. Things where when people look at your ad, they'll be enticed to click on it. Now with the conversion rate, it's how often a sale is made when a buyer has already clicked on your ad and is on your product listing page. So if you have a poor conversion rate, that generally means you have a good ad. People are clicking on it, but once they visit your product listing page, they're not convinced to buy your product. So here's where you need to ask yourself why. The areas you wanna focus on to improve are your photos, bullet points, description, and highlighting any differentiation to really communicate the benefits and features of your product. And having positive reviews and a lot of reviews plays a significant role too. And as for ACoS, you may think that in order to lower your ACoS, the simplest way is to just lower the bids. Since you're only charged when someone clicks on your ads, if you're paying less per click, then your ACoS would go down. And you'd be right to think that. That would be the easiest way, but it may not always be the best plan of attack. If you lower your bids, the drawback is that you'll also lose the prime ad spots. And because the Benchmarker tool has made analyzing your data so much easier, we can see if there's other factors that may be contributing to a poor ACoS. Well, we know that ACoS is tied to the conversion rate. If you also have a poor conversion rate, then you're paying for ad clicks that aren't turning into sales, thus driving up your ACoS. So by using the Benchmarker tool, if you do have a poor conversion rate, then perhaps the best plan of attack is to actually improve your listing quality so that it converts better. So then the knock-on effect is that your ACoS will improve without having to lower the bids. Make sense? So that's the nuts and bolts of the Benchmarker tool. I hope you can see how powerful this tool is and how it makes analyzing and optimizing your PPC campaigns so much easier. And again, the tool is absolutely free and accessing the tool is easy. Just use my link in the video description below. 
go.crescentko.com slash Celix. Just click on analyze your products, analyze your campaigns now, and then fill out your information, choose your marketplace, and in a few hours, Benchmarker will generate your report for you. And one thing to note, if you just started selling on Amazon or you haven't started any PPC campaigns, then of course you won't have any data to generate a report with just yet. So ideally you want to have at least 30 to 60 days worth of PPC data on hand so the Benchmarker tool can generate a report for you. All right, so I wanna thank Celix again for sponsoring this video. You can access their new Benchmarker tool using my link in the video description below. All right, if you wanna get in touch with me, you can find all of my contact details in the video description below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment or question in the comment section below. I answer every single one. And as always, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing and do me a favor, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out and I'd appreciate it. And make sure you ring that bell so you never miss a future video. All right, thanks for watching.